Now to your election 2018 coverage and the latest tally on votes from the Secretary of State's office. Right now, more than 2 million Coloradans have voted. There's the number right there. Out of 3.2 million that are registered, already well above the last midterm in 2014. Now the Secretary of State's office says Colorado were number one in voter registration across the country. So far, top five in voter turnout. Should be proud of that. News 5 Sam Kramer tracking ballots coming in with the two hours, two hour deadline still to go, and he's live tonight. Sam. Yeah, Rob, got to tell you, it's an absolute madhouse over here at the El Paso County Citizen Service Center. But really, it's moving like an assembly line. You can see behind me the cars filing in, handing off their ballots either straight to the box or to the election folks here working because they're trying to get as many people through as they can. Traffic is backed up on Garden of the Gods Road. So really, if you still have to turn in that ballot, give yourself some time. Leave now if you can. I'd like to show you some video from earlier today at the ballot box showing you just how steady the traffic has been here all day long as voters are are trying to beat tonight's deadline. Now, a reminder, there are 28 voter service locations, 16 voter drop boxes across El Paso County. If you still need to submit that ballot, if you head to KOAA.com, we've compiled all the voter locations for counties across the viewing area. You just have to click on Election Watch under the News tab. And, and really, Rob, as you said, we're expecting big numbers at the polls today across the state. We already surpassed the last midterm elections voter turnout, which is just over 2 million people, and there are still voters filing in as you can see behind me now a reminder the polls do close tonight at seven o'clock but I did speak with the election folks here if you are in the line by that time either at the drop off or actually going into one of those voters voter centers you'll be allowed to submit that ballot always watching out for you Southern Colorado I'm Sam Kramer News 5. Great to see all those voters Sam thank you and now to our team coverage in Denver big races to be decided including our new governor News 5 Zach Thaxton is live in downtown Denver where top Democrats will begin gathering Zach. Yeah, Democrats are gathering at the Weston downtown Denver Hotel amid very tight security. No one that comes into this ballroom can do so without walking through a metal detector. They're not leaving anything to chance given some recent uh, nationwide events. But De Colorado Democrats really feeling quite confident coming in here tonight. They believe they're going to be able to hold on to the governor's office through January of 2023. That is, they are anticipating that Congressman Jared Polis will win the governor's race. He has been polling ahead of his Republican opponent, Walker Stapleton, ever since the primaries. They're also hoping to potentially flip a congressional district or two in our state. A sixth congressional district, which encompasses the Denver eastern suburbs, has been held by Republican Mike Kaufman for nine years now, basically a decade. They're hoping that his challenger, Democratic uh, Democrat Jason Crow will be able to unseat Kaufman. That would be quite the turn right there. Uh, everything gets started here around 6 o'clock. The doors will open then. And then, of course, at 7 o'clock, uh, then the results will start coming in. We'll start to hear the reactions from the folks gathered here, whether that's cheering or whether that's sort of lamenting the results. We'll wait to find out. Right now, let's send it to the Republican gathering. That is in the Denver Tech Center. Bill Folsom is covering that. Yeah, thanks, Zach. This is where Republicans will be watching the numbers come in for statewide office tonight. That includes Walker Stapleton, who is wanting to move from the state treasurer's office and take over as the governor. As you mentioned, he's running against Jared Polis, who has led in most of the polls. That said, Republicans are well aware of what happened in the Trump-Clinton campaign when Clinton was in the lead in nine out of ten polls. As we all know, Trump ended up the winner in that race. We're also going to be looking at the Secretary of State's race here. That includes Republican Wayne Williams, who is from Colorado Springs. He is the incumbent, but... He All right, we got our first technical uh, flaw of the evening. You know, it's election night, live TV. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. uh, Bill, Zach, thank you. We'll get back to them a little later. Now to Pueblo, and we're tracking several races that will impact your future. But it's the historic strong mayor race. We'll be getting the most attention with more than a dozen candidates on that ballot. Voters, a tough decision ahead. Let's check in live with Andy Cohen at election headquarters with a look ahead at that race and others. Andy. 
That's right, Rob. 16 candidates are on the ballot running to be the first mayor that Pueblo has had in generations. And with that many candidates, it's very likely we could find ourselves in a runoff situation. One of those 16 would have to pull in more than 50% of the vote in order to avoid that this evening. In fact, the clerk and recorder, Gilbert Ortiz, has already scheduled a date for that runoff election. He says it's going to be January 22nd. Wanted to set it a couple of weeks out to give some time to do finish the canvas of this election, as well as any protests that may or may not pop up. As far as turnout goes, well, turnout has been just about like we have seen in the uh, midterm elections in 2014. In fact, you can see inside here where they are already counting to get the, getting the ballot machine ready to start doing some of the counting tonight. Uh, counties are able to start counting about 15 days out, and so some of those early ballots that got turned in, those were, should already be counted tonight. That means we should have results pretty close to when, uh, after polls close at 7 o'clock, Clock, maybe around 7.15, 7.30, we'll start seeing some of those results coming in. But as far as turnout goes, about 54,000 ballots already turned in. That's according to the most recent numbers that we got from the Secretary of State's office about 2.30 this afternoon. And uh, to give you a way of comparison, uh, there was 60,000 total ballots cast just above that in the 2014 midterms. So that's what we are looking at here tonight. A couple other races, we got an open county commissioner seat and, of course, our state house and senate districts that we're going to be watching as well. We're going to be right back after a quick break right here on the special Election Watch 2018 right here on News 5.